Hey everybody, and welcome to the next map that I'm going to play, which is Beggar's Canyon. Um, very complicated map, as you can see. Now, this map supports regular conquest, which I'm doing now, and a custom game mode. Now, the custom game mode is very weird. You spawn in, in a very, uh, sort of, outside the map, where you can pretty much see through the world. And then you get into a pod racer, and race around the track, kinda. It doesn't work really perfectly. You crash, uh, even if you, like, just bump into something, and it's kind of weird. But, I really like the screenshots that I saw, and it is pretty complicated. As you can see by the number, this is XL units, which is great, because, of course, we had the maps that we recently did were also big. Not as big as this, though, but they needed XL. And, though this is a desert map, there is quite some variety going on here. So you can see a lot of these holes or window-like places where you can pretty much snipe or shoot the others like this. That is actually very cool. That's neat, kinda. Kind of a cat and mouse game, going in and out. As you can see, a big flaw though is that I do get stuck here. I guess what would what actually would be a cool idea is if you would have a map where two teams spawn on like a um, a pretty high place like this, and the other ones spawn at the opposite section, and you can kind kind of fire at each other from a distance, but it won't be very accurate. And then there's a big open field where you kind of forced to cross it if you want to go to their other place and capture their points, but you're right in the open, so you're pretty much dog meat. For any snipers. Hold on, okay, I am... Because this is annoying as shit, all these guys that are stuck here. So forgive me, but I'm gonna kill some of my own people. And hope that they spawn in a little bit better. If you want to check out the custom mode, uh, check it for yourself. It's really weird. I don't know if it works all that well. It's pretty cool though, since they have the pod racers and they behave like, um, uh, or the pods themselves. They they behave like air vehicles, as in you go in and you press the space bar to kind of uh, elevate, and then you drive around. And I thought at first that you were the only one on the map, but I did see some other race, uh, racers as well. It's pretty funky. But I do like this map a lot. The map is very confusing. But there's a lot of action going on. A lot of objects to hide behind. Let's actually try and uh, capture a point. Uh. Whoa, okay, I got owned. Mm. Here we go. See, this is cool, but I, I, I think it would be better if they... Uh, or actually not necessarily better, but I think it would be a fun idea if, if all of the units would spawn on one side and the other. I guess with both units spawning at both sides, um, it is a little bit more strategic in that you can outflank them, you need to defend since they also come from behind. I guess the battles could be a little bit stale if you do it like I suggested. Uh, why not actually be a sniper? Let's see if we can snipe some bastards. Oh, oh shit. Damn it! As you can see her though. They <laughs> use some pretty interesting stuff here. And so you, I, I, my guess is you would be racing over this in the custom gameplay mode. I 
But like I said, when you spawn in, I first thought that it was a bug because you spawn in outside of the world. We may, might see that here. As you can see it's already going a little bit crazy. I uh, hope I don't get a warning of like return to the battlefield. All right, let's see what we got. No, we're still doing good. There you can see the end of the world. The command post is under Republic control. And I guess that the, the custom mode is more fun, of course, with other pa uh, other people when you're doing an actual race. Hostiles have gained a command post. Actually, this might not be the end of the world. This might be that big open, open space right before the finish which would mean that in the west there would be a cave if you by the way plan on doing a custom mode set the um, time era to clone wars it will not work if you put it to galactic civil war Huh, this is interesting. I died all the time with the with the custom mode by the way. It's really, really fragile. Um I'm going really slow now. This is kind of awkward, but also interesting in a way. Eeeh. Doing pod races on legs. Did anyone play pod racing game for N64 or the sequel, which I actually never played the sequel? My god, look how far you can go. What the fuck? Maybe I should do a follow-up video of the custom mode. I don't know. I I'll guess I'll check it out again. See if I can actually get a good lap or something. Or if it's actually well playable. And maybe I'll do a follow-up video. If, if not, uh, then you just can check it out yourself. It's not that difficult. I'm surprised, though, by the, by the size of the map. When I said that I spawned at the end of the world, what I meant was that I could see through all the rocks. So, like, the rocks were not textured. It would be like in some games you fall through the world, right? And you can see all of the objects, but they, for example, are not textured at one side. That was how I saw it. I am... where... oh my god! Also, since, of course, this map has so many nooks and cranks, or nooks and crannies, the fucking reinforcements are not going down at all. So it gives me a good time to explore. Hmm. It is very interesting, though. I wish I had, like, Luke Skywalker or something. A hero unit so that I could traverse this quickly. <laughs> Maybe there are hero units. I didn't kill too much. Oh, 
What the fuck? Hostiles have gained a command post. Our second wave of troops is being depleted. That's great and all. Congratulations. I'm really wondering what happens when I. Oh. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. All right. Uh, fuck me. Okay. Well. Let me go then the uh no way that's the same way. Hmm. All right. Um. Pretty interesting map. It I think it's pretty good for conquest battles. The AI gets stuck a lot, but as you can see, there is a lot of high difference, a lot of stuff to hide behind. It's very cool, actually. It sounds weird, but you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of um. Some parts from Minas Tirith. In terms of how the buildings are set up and everything. That would actually be pretty cool to have like a conquest battle in Minas Tirith. Oh wait, there is something like that. It's called Lord of the Rings Conquest. Which I wonder if any people watching this are actually a fan of. I actually own the game. I haven't played it too much though. I plan to do kind of a let's play of it because you can like complete it in three hours. It's ridiculous. Falling in behind you. Okay. I don't want to play anymore. So, I'm just going to kill myself. Download link will be in the description down below, people. I will see you guys next time.